the second largest city in Portugal after Lisbon, which is the capital. Located along the Juro River estuary in northern Portugal, Porto was one of the oldest European centres and its core was proclaimed a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996. I couldn't have imagined a more vibrant, dynamic city as I walked across Louis I Bridge. In the distance, the Porto wine cellars, cafes and restaurants, below the Juro River glistening in the late morning sunlight, and the cable cars dangling in the air like toys on a string. It's December. The air is nipping, but the sun is bright and healing on Scottish skin. This is Porto, my first impression, and I did not expect this. I cannot wait to explore and taste the food. Chorizo asado, francesina, sardine pate, I am in heaven. Do not come to Porto if you do not expect to leave three kilograms heavier and in four days. The Dom Louis First Bridge is a double-deck metal arch bridge that spans the River Duro between the cities of Porto and Villanova de Gaia. At its construction, its 172 metre span was the longest of its type in the world. There are a lot of hills in Porto, but there are plenty of ways to explore the city. Taxis, of course, e-scooters, bikes, even tuk-tuks, but the funicular is a fantastic way to rest your legs and enjoy the views over the Louis I Bridge. It costs around €4 Euro for a one-way ticket.
using ceramic tiles, or azulejo, are everywhere in Portugal. They cover the walls of train stations, restaurants, bars, public murals, fountains, churches, and altar fronts. Port wine, also known as Vino do Porto, or simply Port, is a Portuguese fortified wine produced in the Juro Valley of northern Portugal. It is typically a sweet red wine, often served with dessert, although it also comes in dry, semi-dry and white varieties. Other Port-style fortified wines are produced outside of Portugal. But under the European Union Protected Designation of Origin Guidelines, only wines from Portugal are allowed to be labelled Port. The food is so indulgent in Porto. You can eat continuously trying to savour all these wonderful flavours. The food just seemed to go on and on. Not that I was complaining. Travel is about indulgence to an extent and food connects us. It elevates our experience and helps us to explore a culture. It brings us together. Happiness is in eating and sharing. Francesina, meaning Frenchy, is a Portuguese sandwich originally from Porto, made with bread, wet cured ham, fresh sausage like chipolata, steak or roast meat and covered with melted cheese and a hot and thick spiced tomato and beer sauce with an egg on top. It is typically served with French fries. It's a bit spicy. Oh really? A little bit. So I've dissected my uh, sauce. What do you think? Mm. I like it. Chorizo asado is a flame grilled chorizo sausage, Portugal's less spicy cousin to Spanish chorizo. Typically, it is scored, placed in a special clay bowl, an asador de barro, doused in some high proof alcohol, and lit a flame before your eyes. And I will admit to eating one and immediately ordering another. Another of Portugal's favourite snacks is sardine pâté, and they are crazy about the stuff. Walls of the stuff, whole stores dedicated to sardine pâté. If you're a lover, you're in heaven here. Pastel de bacalao are one of the most popular snacks in Portugal. These delicious, crunchy fritters are made out of salt cod, potatoes, parsley, eggs and garlic with white pepper to give it an extra kick. So this is breakfast at the Hungry Viper. This breakfast costs 12 euro 50. And there's bacon, there's avocado, there's cream cheese, there's pesto, Oops, there's lovely. mushrooms, there's salad, tomatoes, crusty bread, scrambled eggs. Mm. Pastel de nata is a Portuguese egg custard tart pastry, optionally dusted with cinnamon. Pastel de nata were created before the 18th century by Catholic monks in Lisbon. The Fábrica de Pastel de Belém in Lisbon is the most popular place to buy Pastel de Nata. It sells over 20,000 per day. In 2009, The Guardian listed Pastel de Belém as one of the 50 best things to eat in the world. I 
hope you have enjoyed following our first trip to Porto. If you want to see more of Porto, then why not check out our visit to Porto Sea Life Centre or have a listen to some live Portuguese fado music. And if you want to follow me on more of my adventures, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for new video alerts. Until next time, stay safe and happy travels! Thank you.